Uh, interesting because you had two buses, one with a lot of young people who were vibrant, playing basketball and really enjoying themselves, and then you had a beautiful bus. Um, never seen anything <laughs> like it. Uh, tell us, tell us what today looks like. Hey man, it was good, man. You know, so today was a part of the uh, Stay Woke Florida uh, rolling bus tour. Sarasota was one of 15 cities uh, that these two buses that you are referring to that are going to significant sites uh, in the state of Florida, just really at the end of the day to galvanize and mobilize our community. Voting, voting is, a, is a part of the biggest agenda for today, making sure that our communities and our constituents understand the process of voting, making sure the process of registering the vote, to have all of your T's crossed, to have all of your dies dotted. But, but what was significant about these buses especially the one that was loaded with all the young people on it that's really what it's about at the end of the day because every single thing that we are fighting against all of these policies and procedures that are being uh, uh, attacked with marginal by, by against marginalized communities it impacts these young people. So to see these young people to come out and say, we need to be a part of this movement. We need to be a part of what's happening today. And to show up by the numbers to say, hey, we are here. You're not just gonna run over us. We're going to speak, but not only we're gonna speak, we're gonna speak loudly. We're gonna get involved. And for those of us that are old enough to vote, we're gonna, we're gonna vote and we're gonna make change. How beautiful was it to see a yard filled with people all ages, all persuasions, all backgrounds, and at the end of the day, they were here to listen and learn. Well, you know, it was beautiful to look at the yard and the property and see the diversity that, that, that was represented here today. Um, and, that's, and that's where we're being attacked. You know, we're being attacked with our diversity, equity, and inclusion policies throughout the state of Florida. But we are diverse. At the end of the day, we, we are a diverse country. We are a diverse community. We are a diverse people. And when you can see people of all colors, all persuasions, all backgrounds here representing the same thing, and say, hey, wait a minute. You're, attack, you're, you're not just attacking the black and brown uh, and the Latinos community. You're attacking us all, you know, and that becomes a problem. In closing, um, what's next um, in terms of uh, there's a lot of uh, there's elections. There's just just the ongoing pursuit, if you will. But, but what's next? What can we look forward to? You know, what's next is us continuing to galvanize and mobilize our communities because we got a lot of elections that are before us. So we just need to continue to beat the pavement and get the folks ready. Thank you, sir.